you it gives a lot of options. It's the best choice to do because it make it puts you on the attack. If you stand up without doing it, you can do it after you stand. So if I'm here, and let's say we're like this. Let's say I was able to clear the top foot, and then I came up to my feet, and this foot's still behind me. I don't like this option, personally. Putting the feet behind me never works out well for me. I'm gonna show you all the reasons that I, if someone's good, it doesn't work out well. If I clear them behind me and I step high, I end up getting taken down, all right? If I clear them behind me and I come to mount, he just gets leg control again. Go ahead. That's the wrong way. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right? I don't like clearing the feet behind me. I can't see what they're doing. He'll work them back in underneath me somehow. In fact, if I just leave this one here and I clear this one, he can put his foot in here. Go ahead, put your, your other foot in there. Yeah, and then he can use basically sort of like an X guard to get me back down. Putting the feet behind me gives him too many choices. Keeps his feet safe, keeps him on the attack. I really like to have those feet in front of me if I can. Okay? Now. If he's here and I was able to clear this top foot, or even if I wasn't able to clear this top foot, I got up without clearing the feet in front of me, I can do it once I'm here. I'm going to pin his shin and take a back step and take a forward step. Right? So somehow I stood up without clearing this foot. You know, I popped up here, right? It, if this is back here, it doesn't matter what he's doing with this one. This is the one I care about. Do you guys understand why I care about this one and not this one? This is the one that's in between my legs. This is the one I have control over. This one is not. I'm not going to try any, any BS on this. It's not going to work. Okay? This is the one I need to get control over. So I'm going to pin his shin, step back, step up, ankle lock, toe hold. All while keeping my foot flat on the mat. So I recommend if you are able to pop right up, maybe because he was doing something like pinning his squeeze in your thigh, which is useless, right? Even though I said you should do it last time, but you haven't. Okay, so <laughs> Brits Mattering, I told you this last time. So, if he's just pinning my thigh and not attacking this leg, it's easier for me to stand. Pin the shin, step back, and step back forward. All right, give that a try, guys.